hello everyone so welcome back to another part in this inspection tutorial so here when I click on the object it will come closer to the camera and it will uh, remain attached to the camera uh, so when I, if I right click it will go back to the original location like this so after this part I want to rotate this object and inspect that and also some details about this object will appear here uh, I will cover those things in time so in this episode this part move it closer and inspect and put it back and those are the things I'm going to cover today and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron all right now we can do this when we when we hover over these objects the highlights so but nothing happens when I click on them okay right uh, right now let's implement a click event okay on click uh, so when I click on the on this object I want it to move uh, in front of the camera uh, can I get the main camera Camera, no, I can't get the camera component. Ah, oh, yeah, I can. Mm, so, how do we okay? Let's attach it to the let's get the self attach. To component and use camera as the parent and everything I'll set to keep world and after that I'll mm, mm, first, first let's see if this works so if, it, if I can attach them now it should all right now it is moving with the camera that means it is attached to the camera okay so right now let's make it let's move it closer to the camera forward vector And also, no, let's try something like this. Get a default C in root and move component to relative location not zero so what's the let's break this and let's see what's the preferred location what would be a good location for this now this is attached okay now let's see
this one is okay uh, this is six what if I may made oh, not rotation uh, it's location if I make it no okay this is the forward I guess then this should be something like 50 no maybe 20 and this should be minus 20 yeah uh, so actually I want it to move to the right side of the screens and also I want to put some detail about this object in this area okay so maybe minus 30 and this one is 30 let's make this a little bit closer alright so it should be 70 30 minus 30 that's the location local location we need it to move 70 30 minus 30 over time let's say 0.3 seconds rotation mm. it rotation get relative rotation let's keep the rotation in the same all right now I'll click here okay now it is attached to the camera mm, now I need it to be able to move that means rotate around and also put back so to test this um, so how to put it back okay let's implement another method <coughs> right uh, let's define a new input using escape let's call it Yes, see. No, actually, we can do it like this. Oh no, this would be better. I'll just call this one cancel. And as the key, I'll do CSC escape. And here, uh, cancel. Wait. action event cancel all right i'll use that action event but also in order to work it this should have inputs enable enable input get player controller right now the inputs will work so yeah first uh, right before I attach this I need to save the previous location of this object so get at uh, location and rotation both actually I need both location and rotation so therefore let's use get at uh, transfer oh can it change by oh it is 
return by ref okay this return value all right as so i'll promote this to variable original location and this is from a to variable original rotation A scale would be one 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 so I I don't I don't need to save it so yeah after doing that when I press escape self detach from actor detach the root component if this actor is from any scene component is currently attached okay detach from actor and keep world keep world keep world get the default scene root move component to the original location and the original rotation like this 0.3 and then uh, uh, before that I should disable input get player control all right Let's see if this works. Okay, now I can look at it. Press escape, it's back. All right, now, oh, okay, I can't use escape in the editor because it will end the game. So, therefore, instead of escape, I'll use. right mouse button right now let's test it cool okay it is working right and I'll stop this episode at this point in the next episode uh, I'm gonna I'm going to try this uh, when I have this object I want it to rotate around and inspect it so that's the part I want to do in the next episode All right, we have a small bug here. On actor clicked, this should call once. And it should be, re it should reset only when I put it back like this otherwise we would have a problem okay and I'll stop this episode at this point so if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club the link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye